Earlier tonight, armed guards picked up $1 million in cash from a secret vault. It was transported under maximum security to our protected set, where the entire million will be handed over to one couple. Their challenge? Hang on to it through the most heart-pounding game ever imagined. I'm Kevin Pollack, and this is the Million Dollar Money Drop. in genuine American currency. 50 bundles of $20 bills, each bundle $20,000. It's all very real. We are surrounded by security to make sure nothing happens to it. If you were with us last night, you saw two couples go through absolute devastation as entire millions slipped through their fingers and dropped, gone forever. But waiting in the wings are two people who are determined that that same thing does not happen to them. They will stop the drop. Please welcome Casey and Kyle Kazmarek. Yeah! See that coming. I'm well. Yes. Tell me a little about yourself. Casey and I have been married, uh, been together for four years. All right. Uh, we're coming up on our second anniversary. Yes. Very nice. Thank very you. nice. And our very first date was at a winery. I took Casey. Yes, and um, we love wine, and we the winery where our first date took place. <laughs> but I know is where we is where we got married oh, and right. we are yep. here today to win that money because exactly. we have a dream of having our own winery and vineyard yeah. oh, and right. <laughs> thank you well here's hoping that can happen i tell you yes. most millionaires will tell you that the first million is the hardest to earn okay. in your case quite the opposite <laughs> yes because that million dollars is now yours oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> go on over meet your million can say hello you can touch it you can feel it if you need to, you can smell it. Like this. The question is, can you hang on to it? Oh my gosh. Let me tell you how the game works. You've got to give us a correct answer to right. seven multiple choice questions, all right? Each one of these four drops represents a possible answer, only okay. one of which will be the correct answer. Okay. The rules are very simple. You've got to risk all of your money on every single question. But if you're not certain about the correct answer, you can play it safe place your money on more than one drop. You must always leave one drop clear. Keep that in mind. Put your money on the wrong answer and it drops. It's gone forever. All right? At the end of the seven questions, whatever money you have left over, you get to keep. Yes. Are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. You've got $1 million. I've got seven That's questions. Hard. Let's play oh the million dollar money drop. Yeah. All right, Casey and Kyle, let's look at the categories for question number one. Rock of Ages, gambling. Talk it Rock on. of Ages and gambling. Okay, what, what does Rock of Ages mean? Does rock that mean like I Rock think, of Ages music? music? I think it's music. Gambling. Um, gambling could be anything. It could be but sports. But you're good with poker singer. and stuff like that. I think but we should do gambling. Do gambling? I, yeah. I'm a fan of rock, honey. I know you are, but gambling is like... All right, what's it going to be? Gambling. We'll gambling. gambling. All right, gambling is the category. The four possible answers are A... Four, B, seven, C, ten, and D, twelve. Once you've seen the question, you'll have some time to talk it over. Okay. And then we're going to give you 60 seconds to put all your money down. And the question is, statistically, what is the most likely number to be rolled in craps? Talk it over. Honey, then we're going to we give you 60 Vegas seconds on the clock. First I anniversary, and you I taught know. me craps, so you should know this. <laughs> okay. Um, you can look so at it's, it. it's not 12. I wait. No, okay. no. Because um, I remember that that was like 60 seconds. The, the clock is moving. I think I'm it's going to be 10. 10. You don't think it's seven? I think okay, 10 is seven. Okay, sixes and fours and threes and. And, and sevens and things like that, then we need to move really, really yeah, fast. 50 and seconds. Do we want to put all of our money here? Do we want to put no. a little bit on seven? I would say seven or two. We're not 100% sure, right? Yeah, I'm not. Okay, oh my gosh. I'm thinking four is definitely no. No, it's definitely not four. It's definitely not 12. 40 but seconds. I agree with 10. Okay, so we have 480,000 here. 480,000. Oh my gosh, 500,000. I think we need more. I mean, we're both really confident on 10, right? But we want yeah. a safety net. Do you want Let's to do like 200? Let's repeat the question. Statistically, what is 40? the most likely okay, number to be rolled in crap? Oh, yeah. It's 10. You really do? Yeah. How confident are you? Um, 
On, I, because there's only four and three and two. Twenty five. seconds. Do you think, I don't think it's. I oh think my it's gosh. 12. Do you think twelve possibly? No, 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 no. No. Fifteen it's gonna be seconds. It's gonna be ten or seven. It's gonna be ten or seven. It's two, two, two. For one more. No, no, no. 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 No, hun. Put it there. Trust me. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. No. no. Oh my gosh. One. up let's be crystal clear on the question statistically what is the most likely number to be rolled in craps let's go through these numbers together number four you've got no money on that drop you've also got nothing over on 12 you've got oh. 280,000 yeah. on the number seven and you've got 720,000 on the number 10. I honestly think we messed up now that my emotions have just slowed down because craps are the point of rolling seven. Mm -hmm. And doesn't that mean that the number is supposed to come up the most, not 10? Well, you, you know, it's... Uh, yeah. Okay, that's right. <laughs> now, I have to tell you that in the first six questions only, you'll have an opportunity to use what we call a quick change. It means clock has run out. We'll give you an additional 30 seconds to move your money. You get it once in the first six questions. I mm -hmm. promise you, as hard as this question seems, the questions will get harder, yeah. not easier. What do you want to do with the quick change? I think all of that needs to be moved to seven. Let's go, let's just look here, okay? okay? We, There's 280 we, on seven. You know, no, listen, we need to do seven. I would hate to use our quick change in the very first question, but we got emotional, and I think that $1 million belongs right there. What do you want to do? I, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're gonna do this on our first answer, but we're gonna do a quick change. Yeah. Okay, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. All right. And go. Okay, right, clock go is moving. fast, Move. fast. We have 30 seconds. All right. Go, babe. Oh my gosh. Here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I know, I know, I know. 20 seconds. Move, Oh my gosh, move. I know. Jeez. Here, Work here. Work as a team. Move, put him on. Faster, okay. Here, oh, crap. Move him on, move him on. Move him on, get him down. Okay. Hurry, hurry. I know. Hurry. I know. Oh my gosh, hurry. made a very drastic change. Okay. You've got nothing on four, nothing on 12. That stays the same. You now have 60,000, three bundles, on the number 10, which means 940,000, number seven. And now it's time to step up and see what oh, drops. Gosh. Again, the question, Stay. statistically, Stay. what is the most Stay. likely number to Stay. be rolled in Stay. craps? Oh, Stay. It has to be seven. Stay. Seven. Stay. Crabs. Stay. If it's four or 12, of course, it's good night on question one. Oh, gosh. Casey and Kyle, good luck. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love you. I love you. We've simply confirmed what you believe to be true from the beginning, right from the get. Oh. You put nothing on four and 12. Okay. Okay. We want, we want this. Either Thanks. you're moving on to question two with nine hundred and forty thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! Or you will have to fight, scratch, and <sighs> crawl onto question two with only sixty thousand. Let's find out. But I don't want to. Please, seven. Please, 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 please. drop ten, drop please ten. Stay. Oh my gosh. Start with a million. You use the quick change on the first question. <laughs> you end up with 940,000. You made a tremendous, brilliant decision. Thank you. You just Thank saved you. yourself. Yes, you did. Six questions <laughs> remaining. Okay. Let's look at categories for question two. Okay. U.S. States, magazines. I'm really confident on the states. Magazines, I'm also confident. I, I'm feeling magazines. My, I'm You're just feeling, feeling magazines. magazines? Okay. Magazines, all right. 
Magazines is the category. The four possible answers are A, Motor, Motor Trend, Motor B, trend. Playboy, C, Sports Illustrated, and D, Men's Health. Okay. And the question is, according to the magazine publishers of America, which of these magazines had the most paid subscribers in 2009? Talk it over. Okay. And then we'll put 60 seconds on our right. Okay, initially I want to see Motor Trend because tons of energy cars, and then I want to see Playboy. All right. Thinking Sports Illustrated because I'm like, thinking, I'm, all right, I'm, honey, everyone, I'm thinking it's in this three. I don't think it's men's health. I don't think it's men's health men either. Tend not to be really thinking on that. 60 seconds, okay, the clock is moving. Trend. I think I, I, it's Sports I, Illustrated. I'm going to start putting my on okay. Sports Illustrated. I really um, feel strongly about it because uh, you know the swimsuit editions, and there's lots of men's health stuff in there, and men are really into sports. I mean, I don't read it, but I really feel like that's the right oh, answer. I mean, no. I think 45 seconds. I mean, I think Playboy could be a possibility sports too, history. but Sports Illustrated just means I think people more pick up like. Hold on, keep talking because you're convincing like, me. I think they pick sports. up like a monthly issue because they really like Playboy and Playboy. 45 issues. seconds. Whoever's the centerfold for that month? Oh my gosh. Okay. But should um, we do it as a backup? Playboy, I think we need Playboy as a backup. Huh? I mean, even I want the Sports Illustrated, but not Playboy. I don't know. Well, hon, but... Uh, oh, my gosh, what do you think? Oh, oh, I, what, do you well, think? I, I, what do you think? What do you think? Okay, all right. Playboy yes. Sports Illustrated. You gotta leave one Playboy drop clear. Sports okay. Illustrated. Um, I think we should... I think we need a reserve. Um, okay. Which has I, really I agree with you. Started. I agree with you. 780 okay. there. I want right. 800 here. Okay. Right. What do we want? Do we want a trade? Do we want anything? You really Your think? Confidence, sports Illustrated. I don't know. I so. Men love sports. It's the... It's the... It's okay. the thing in the world. Okay. Okay. Question two? Only question two, oh and I promise gosh. they're gonna get harder. According to the magazine publishers of America, which of these magazines had the most paid subscribers in 2009? There's no money on Motor Trend. Motor Trend? Playboy, you've got a little uh, insurance of $120,000. Just because it's Playboy. That's your There's second There's a lot choice. of teenage boys in the U.S., right? I'm oh. not sure you need to explain the draw no, of Playboy I magazine. Yeah. Oh, I, think I don't know. I've never seen one, sorry. Neither have I. Uh. <laughs> Sports Illustrated, 820000 and then nothing at all on Men's Health. Yep. Now it's time to step up and see what drops. Let's just stay with the one we want the answer to be over here. Did we do the right thing? I think so. You really? I really do. If Sports Illustrated has the most paid subscribers Please in 2009, it. Please let it. they are soaring into question three with $820,000. If it's Playboy, there's a bit of a gallop with 120,000 into the third question. If it's Motor Trend or Men's Health, it's good night. Oh gosh, don't say that. Stay. Gosh, please be sports illustrated. Oh gosh, please. Please, please, Means you're moving on to question three, no matter, no matter what, what, and okay. have a chance to win the game and take money home. Oh my gosh. That's the okay. great oh news. Oh gosh, please be Sports Illustrated. Motor Trend, by the way, 1 million subscribers in okay. 2009. Men's Health, 1.4 okay. million subscribers. That's a lot. Okay. Uh, Put your hand out there, do whatever you're doing. We want this to stay. Please stay. Please, 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 please. Oh gosh, please, 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 please. Please don't go, please don't go. Please. One million subscribers, by the way, to Playboy. Uh -huh. Three point two oh, million yes. to Sports awesome, Illustrated. Baby. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Let's look at the categories for question number three. Oh my gosh. All right. Here we go, babe. The Godfather. Oh. Pie. Godfather. Godfather. I know nothing about the Godfather. All right. History. The, the, I know the mob bosses from, from the turn of the century. I'm gonna All agree right. with you. I think so. Okay. Godfather. The go of the Godfather. And the four possible answers are A. Character played by Marlon Brando. Okay. B. Character played by Al Pacino. Do you know these already? C. Okay. Character played by Robert Duvall. Do you know who that is? Okay. And yep. D. The character played by James Caan. Do you know who this is? Uh huh. And the okay. question is, 
<sighs> okay. Who dies oh first what? in the 1972 film The Godfather? Okay. Talk it All over. Right. Al Pacino is obviously we need in the series. Okay, I have no so idea. So he's not dead. Who dies okay. first, though? Who dies first in the okay. movie? Okay, here's the thing. Not the Godfather 2 or 3. James, James Beckham, the, the clock is Who moving. dies first? It's Marlon For Beckham. sure, and then start putting it yes. there. Yes, yes. So does anyone else die in the movie, though? James Conn. James, he doesn't die first. No. When does he die in the movie? Move um, it fast. Well. I'll get um, that. Oh my gosh. Are you positive? Yeah, honey, I'm, I'm pretty positive. Yeah. Okay, honey. when does when does Marlon Brando die? Who in the movie? dies first like, in the 1972 in film The Godfather? Um, hold, hold on, hold oh, on. Oh crap, Kyle! Hold on, um, come on, Kyle! Just hold on. Please. Shush your face. Uh, take a look at the character. Oh my seconds. God, James Conn. Twenty seconds. Kyle? James Conn. Are you serious, Kyle? Half of it only. Why? Because Fourteen seconds. If you want to move it, Marlon move Brando it now. Was there and it was move it now. More. Casey, Kyle, you made a split decision in the very closing seconds. There, who dies first in the 1972 film *The Godfather*? You started by putting almost all of your money on Marlon Brando, and then suddenly I saw Kyle focusing as if you were watching the entire film in about 14 seconds. I was. And at some point in that film, you saw what? I was playing the movie, and at the split second, I'm thinking, okay, James, the body, they're in the view, Al's there, and his dad, Marlon, is I there. believe, is looking over his All right. son. 260 on the character played by Marlon Brando, 560 on the character played by James Conn, so nothing on Al Pacino, honey. Robert Duvall, yeah. no money on that drop. It's time to step up and okay. see what drop. Honey, hey, I am confident. I am confident. There's it's confident too. too. It's I not these two. I know it. If it's the character played by James Conn, the answer D, then you are soaring into question four with over half a million dollars. Oh my gosh. If it's A, the character played by Marlon Brando, you're still doing really well with 260,000. The character played by Al Pacino or Robert Duvall, you're doing horrible. Yes. All right, let's see what drops. Stay, 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 stay. I'm just, I don't even stay, know. Stay. Come here, baby, come here, come here. We got this, we got this. Have faith. Stay. I know, have faith. have faith. It's still a lot of money. I know, I don't want to it's see a lot, lot of money. money go by. I know, honey, I know, babe, but this is, this is a lot, okay? Uh-huh. If I'm wrong, you can round kick me all the way home, okay? okay? <laughs> yeah. Question four with an yes. awful lot of yes. money. Yes. And once again, you've made a last ditch effort again. to change the amount oh of money gosh. if it is, in fact, the character oh played gosh, by James Conn. You've saved yourself an incredible amount of money oh gosh. in a very crucial amount of seconds. It's almost twice as much 560 or yes. 260. Let's hope it's the character played by James Conn. Good luck. Stay, oh gosh, please stay. Please stay, do you please stay? Please, please, please stay, please stay. Please stay. Please stay. Please stay. Casey and Kyle hold on to five hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Only four questions remain. They might be taken now. three questions that have managed to hold on to $560,000. Yes. Now, I need to point out that on all of the first three questions, 
<laughs> in the last second, you made drastic changes to save yourselves <laughs> this much money. Yeah. You would have probably been gone by now if you had not made those changes. Yeah. You've given us all a little bit of a heart palpitation in your last second <laughs> efforts, but you've managed to work it through, okay? Yeah. We're gonna change up the game a little bit because you've made it to question number four. At this point, we've lost one of the drops. There are only three, but the rules remain the same. You must risk all your money yep. on every question, and you must leave one drop clear. Yep. All right? We're gonna give you a little more time. Okay. You'll now have 75 seconds on the clock. Okay. Because the questions are going to get harder. Okay. I promise. Okay. You're doing incredibly well. Okay. All right? Four questions remain. Let's look at the category for question number four. First aid, First aid underwater. underwater. First okay. aid, medical, medical. supplies, procedures, ZPR, uh, um, search and rescue, stuff yeah, like that. Underwater, underwater like scuba, ocean. ocean, marine life. I don't know, I did search and rescue. I know you did Maybe that. Maybe you were like a security officer, I saw them. So I think like first aid. Are you sure? First aid. First aid. Yes. All right, first aid is a category that the three possible answers are A, bare aspirin. Bare aspirin. B, band aid brand bandages. Or C, band -aid and NyQuil. Okay. okay. And the question is All right. Which of these was introduced first? Talk it over. My gut tells me it's Band-Aid because I feel like Band-Aid has been around forever. Band-Aid is a brand. Uh huh. NyQuil is like a cough medicine. 75 okay. seconds. Clock I is moving. I don't think it's NyQuil. You sure? Don't you don't need to think remotely I NyQuil? I don't think it's from NyQuil at but all. But they are aspirin because people have been taking aspirin forever. I think this goes back <laughs> a long way. A long way. But also, I, I, I understand with the bandages. So let's think Band -Aid, about this I mean, thing. I know we have to. Okay. Oh 60 seconds. Bandages, gauze, you know, tourniquets, things like that, hon. Makes sense. I when know. You go back in history. For sure, not like when This not is not something like pharmaceutical medicine. had to make. You're right. 50 seconds. Not okay. saying they didn't have it back then, okay? So That's true. Uh, let's start moving, honey, okay? okay? Start moving. Do we want to put the majority on Band Aid? I, I think. I feel like the majority should go on Band Aid. I mean, yeah. we have I to think, think about like ugh, search and rescue squads over history and 35 the war. seconds. Yep. The war. I mean, maybe they were introduced for war, right? Uh, I, I, I think mean, they might have used it. Um, now, how here's much the thing. Do we want to put on shirts? was introduced first. And first. 25 Not seconds. At all. Aspirin, I mean, maybe we should have a reserve on aspirin. What do you feel comfortable with? I'm, hey, look at the question, seconds. guys. Listen, 20 seconds. I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Band Aid sounds. Introduced first. Introduced Which first. Which one was introduced I think first was introduced in history? The brand. Band uh, you want to uh, do it here? Anything? 100? In here. Yeah. Okay, 100. Put it there. Which of these was introduced oh first? $80,000 on bear aspirin. Band-Aid brand bandages, 480,000, and nothing on NyQuil. Yeah, NyQuil. You've used your quick change? Yes. It's time to step up and see what drops. Oh, All right, baby. Please. Okay. How, oh my gosh, we have to have Band-Aid. Band if it's NyQuil, we're done. Oh God. If it's bare aspirin, you've got $80,000. I really think Band-Aid, I really do. If it's Band-Aid, and you're correct, almost a half a million dollars with three questions left. Tell it to stay. Building Tell it to stay, stay like you always do. Stay. Stay, stay, stay. Please don't stay. be NyQuil. Please don't be NyQuil. I don't think it's like, well, I mean, come so come far. I, I know, hon, I know. It's just stay. stay. Tell it to stay. It's stay. a lot of money. Yes! 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 We knew it was not that. We knew it was not You knew it. You knew it. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Michael oh came God. out, by the way, in the late 1960s. Oh my gosh. I hope it's not Bayer. The two answers remaining. One of them came out in 1921. Okay. The other one, 1897. Please do not. Be. It's either 80,000. I will or love Andy forever. 480,000 with three questions left. A chasm oh of money between oh, the two. Please stay. Four hundred and eighty thousand. That's stay. what we have. Please. 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 God. Please. Stay. Please. Please. Stay. Please. Please. Stay. Please. Stay. 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 Come on, Band Aid. Stay. Come on, Band Aid. Stay. Stay. Please. Stay. Please. Stay. Oh gosh, stay. please. Stay. No. Four hundred and eighty thousand gone. 
Oh All right. Oh my gosh. Now, as devastating as that is, you've got $80,000. Yeah. You can take that home. I believe you can. Come back and find out on the million dollar money drop. Three questions remain. All right. You can do it. You can do it. Three questions remaining. They started with a million. At the last few seconds of the first several questions, they figured out how to stay ahead of the game. This last go round, they lost $480,000. The majority of their fortune. What matters most is that you get to question seven yes. Yeah. Yes. with money to take yes. off. Yes. Yes. That's what matters. Absolutely. All right. Let's take a look at the categories for question number five. Jobs? Jobs. The internet. The internet. All right. Jobs. Jobs. So different types of could jobs. jobs but look, look, could be the economy. The economy. Okay? And internet. The internet. Internet could be the dot coms, the dot com bubble. Could be websites. What do you feel most confident I think the, the internet. internet, right? The internet. I mean, you're an internet guy, you're a tech guy. I think I we think need so. to trust you on this, yeah. honey. Yeah. Are you going to count on your fabulous nerd a little bit? <laughs> My fabulous nerd, yes. All right, we're going with the internet. Three possible answers in the category of the internet. A, Twilight DVD. DVD. Mm -hmm. B, okay. I Dreamed a Dream Single oh, by That's Susan Boyle. Or C, Kindle Ebook Reader. Okay. okay. And the question is, what was the most purchased item on Amazon.com in 2009? Talk it over. Okay. Take a look at the possible answers. All right. Hugely success. Blockbuster. Yes. And you know DVD, DVD sales, but DVD sales aren't worth they used to be online, right? Well, they, they're still there, but they're not, you know. Okay. 75 Twilight seconds, the clock is moving. years ago. Well, I yeah. dreamed a dream. I mean, to me, that's a download, but oh, Susan I guess, Boyle. oh, I guess the single. Would people just buy the single on Amazon? Uh, you can. Okay, and she was super popular, but you know what? But, I mean, what from think, American Idol. 60 seconds. When I think oh, no, singles, they, when I think okay. singles, and downloading, I think iTunes. I, I agree. Okay, I agree. Smart. Okay. Very smart, honey. All right. The Kindle ebook. Wasn't that the Amazon Kindle or is that, exactly. is that Apple seconds. Kindle? No, no, no. Apple doesn't have no Kindle. Apple has honey, iPad. Honey, we have $80,000 and we can Kindle. be safe and we can do Twilight because neither of us think it's Susan Boyle. Let's Royal. repeat the question. Okay. What was the most purchased, purchased item on, on Amazon.com Amazon. in 2009? Amazon owns that. They That's own theirs. It. Amazon okay. owns the a Kindle. Kindle is theirs. 30 it's seconds. not Apple. No. Do you want to just go into the sixth question with, I mean, let's go and with $80,000? And also, it came dollars. out. I believe it came out in oh, 2009. Oh, that's what I was going to say, too. I believe it came 20 seconds. Yeah. Out last year as Focus. well. I, hun, I know it's a lot. 15 man, seconds. But I think let's we, do it. You want to? Yes. I know. Twilight DVD. You don't think at all. Not even 20000 on Twilight. You want to split? split? You want to split it? Do you want, what do you know? No. I don't know what you think. $80,000 on the Kindle ebook reader as the answer to what was the most purchased item on Amazon.com in 2009. There's no money on the Twilight DVD, and there's no money on I Dreamed a Dream single by Susan Boyle. Let's step up and see what drops. Oh, <laughs> All right. I'm excited about this. Now make that money stay. Yes, right. let's stay. make it stay. I stay. believe it. I so stay. believe this is it. Stay, please stay. Something we completely agreed on. Stay. We said if we 100% agree, mm -hmm. we are putting 100% money. Yeah. We 100% agree. Yeah. If it's C, you're well on your way to finishing the game with only two questions left, A or B. Oh, gosh. Stay. I feel and we're good. Done. Stay. You know? I mean, if you want to download songs, it, that just makes sense to me. Honestly, honey, okay. I really think it's here. It's now an all or nothing situation. I'm still terrified. It's either A or C. Please be the Kindle. Please. please be the Kindle. Honey, I love you. I love you too. Please, 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 please. If you're right, we're moving on with two questions left. 
Stay. Let's do it. You ready? Stay. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. We both, both believe both this is our answer. Stay. 100%. Stay. Stay. See, I'm sensing you're not quite 100%. I'll tell you what, let's take a break and we'll oh. come back right after this with Million Dollar Money Drop. I think you need more time. You need more time. You gotta focus. You gotta focus. of question number five. The question is, what was the most purchased it's item on Amazon.com yeah. in 2009? If it's A, mm. you do go home empty-handed. If mm. it's C, Kindle ebook reader, you've got $80,000 and a chance to take that home. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's see what drops. Come on, Amazon please, Kindle, please, pull please, through please, for us. Stay. Come on, Amazon, stay up. Please stay up. This is torture. I know. They're going on the next question. Oh, yes, they are. You put the entire 80,000 on the correct answer. If you should hold on to the 80,000, what are the plans? We are going to put it towards our dream of having our winery and our wine bar, yeah. and we are going to get our dream business set up so that we can set up our family and it's Absolutely. our passion. We want to live our passion like everyone this else. This represents your dream together. Yeah. All right. A lot. Let's get there. Okay. If you make it through this next question, whatever money you have left will be what you could be taking home. Question's gonna be more difficult. We're going to give you even more time. Oh, thank you. You'll oh, have 90 you. seconds. Oh, thank you. Once you see the question. Right. Three drops, one stays clear. You must risk all of your money on this next question. The categories oh, for right. question number cool. six. Here we go. All right. Cars, cars, seafood. Seafood. Hey, honey. You know a lot about cars. I know a lot about cars. I don't know anything about cars, but I don't know. I want to trust you again. I, well, honey, we need to pull seafood. our resources. And you, you know about seafood, right? Okay. I we think, eat seafood every week. So yeah, we're I think gonna... we'll go with seafood. Seafood it is. Seafood. Oh my gosh. The three possible answers are A, swordfish. 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 B, swordfish. Salmon. 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 Or C, shrimp. 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 Okay. And the You're question is, according to the National oh, Fisheries gosh. Institute, Americans consume the most of which type of seafood Annually, talk it okay, over. Okay, so over the course of um, 12 months, yeah. Americans eat which type of seafood the most? So yeah. I already want to eliminate swordfish because I used to eat that a ton as a kid, yeah. but you never see it on a menu in a restaurant. No, you do, but and, you know the thing 90 is, seconds on, clock is moving. You, you do not see it in any know. restaurant. No, you do, but it's not very common. No, and I don't even know if it's appetites. legal anymore, to be no, honest. No, it is, it is. Okay, it well, is. anyway. Okay. We don't think it's swordfish. Okay, I will agree with you on that one. Okay, so we, we are feeling it's between salmon and shrimp. Okay. What can we do with salmon? Where shrimp is sushi, shrimp Americans is skewers. Americans consume the shrimp most of like which type? People Think of Forrest Gump, honey. Oh, shrimp Forrest gumbo, Gump, that's shrimp, great. You, know, you, create, you can shrimp this, shrimp You're that. You're right, shrimp. and it's, it's a, a laundry lot. list of shrimp. That's right, that's okay. right. 60 seconds. You can do so much with shrimp, and I think this is but like, salmon, you even have it in salads. It's, but you can have salmon in salads, and a salmon you a can. Really, Oh, and there, but there are multiple types of shrimp. 50 seconds, yeah. Multiple types of shrimp. Well, those prawns, there's different ways of doing it. I think that just is, honey, I just But there feel... are multiple. Salmon, salmon is also, can salmon. Can you eat salmon 40 in a sushi seconds. restaurant? Because you, you love sushi. You can, but it, it's, it's again, it's it's one of the Gotta have fishes. something to get to okay. question but, um, seven. Um, but I, I, honey, I, I think. 30 at seconds. At the very least. 60,000 on shrimp. Absolutely. 20,000 on salmon as a okay. safety net. Yeah, because honey, I really honestly, you know, I would know. this far, shrimp, Oh my gosh. You can, you can I didn't have this far to go empty handed. Honey. Hold on, let's just hold on to this last Put 20. It there. Put it down. Let's hold on to it. We have 15 okay. seconds. Salmon or shrimp? Do we want to have a safety net and guarantee ourselves going into the last question? Honey, shrimp. Guaranteed. Shrimp. 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 I gotta tell you, this is so unbelievably gutsy to put it all on shrimp and Twice. not have a safety net. Twice. All game, you've been doing the gutsy thing. Let's step up and see what drops. Oh. I mean, we're both 100% confident, right? Yeah, I really think it's shrimp. I 
I really do. Stay, stay, We're so stay. Close. You've made it this far. It would suck on, to not stay. have a safety net. I know, honey, and I apologize really up suck. front. I apologize up front. I just feel, you know, stay. Should we go to commercial? No! No, 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 no. All right. <laughs> you're moving on or you're not. scratched the last two questions with only $80,000, but they went all or nothing each time, and they faced that last challenge <laughs> one more time to take that $80,000 home. Yes. All right? Now, you're going to change the game up a little bit because you did make it to that all-important final seventh question. All right? We've removed another drop. There are now two drops. Of course, the rules remain the same. You have to risk the entire 80,000. Once again, you have to leave one drop clear. Only two possible answers. Your money goes on one of them. It is all or nothing. Another great piece of news. <laughs> you know that clock? Yes. It's gone. Yes. You take all the time you yes. need. All right? Yeah. The categories for question seven and a chance to take $80,000 home. Yes. Marriage. NYC Transportation. Well, we I love marriage and we believe in it. Um, you know, we're passionate about marriage. I mean, we really, really are. We are more passionate about marriage, and I think on this yeah. one, it is all or nothing. We're going to go with our hearts. Uh, I don't know if that's... We're going to go with our hearts. Marriage. Yeah. Oh, marriage my gosh. Marriage is the category. $80,000 to take home for Casey and Kyle. They just need to choose between these two answers. Answer A, married women. Oh. Answer B, single oh. women. Oh. I've been, I'm, married I've women? been both of those. Single women. <laughs> and the question is, according to the US Census, as of 2009, which are there more of in America? Talk it over. Okay, I, I, again, something just pops in my head. Okay, go ahead. All right. I think it goes back to something where there, what is the number men to women ratio? Exactly, I there think. aren't as many men as so, in the country so, as there are women, and we've read those studies, uh, and women are getting married later. Yep. Women in their careers are putting a lot of time in their careers, too. Careers, I mean, folks, they're yeah. having children, yeah. as we know, without yeah. being married. Yeah. I mean, they're just focusing on different things. Yeah. Okay, no. single women. You're super confident? I think so. We were yeah, not confident uh, at all with married no, women, right? No, I mean... We, come on, we two sacks each together. <laughs> all right. Oh, now yeah. that you've placed your money, on the answer B. Oh my gosh. It is all or nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to give you one final fact regarding this question. Okay. Please understand, this fact is not meant to change your mind. Okay. It will simply give you the opportunity to do so if you choose. Okay. I'm gonna give you the fact. Okay. And then we're gonna give you 60 seconds to talk it over. <sighs> okay. In 2009, for the first time in history, the correct answer here outnumbers the incorrect answer. Okay, well... For the first time. I, I still believe it's single women because I think, I mean, look at our... Our moms are still married. They were married in the 70s. I'm gonna put 60 seconds. Go for it. Okay. You ready? Right. Yes. Yeah, Thank you. Go ahead. Your thought. Clock is ticking. So, 
I mean, 2009, there's really been a, a change in just the way, again, women are living yeah. their lives, and we know that, and yeah. we don't know when the last time a census was done anyway. Yeah. So, and we know in the early done like every century, 10 years or something. Yeah. Early part of the century, you know, it was more custom that you got married, you had families, women, you stayed together. And that's why there's a higher rate of divorce, because, yeah. you know, women got married more. But So I think it would totally make sense. It's totally logical that there are more single women than married. Don't we know more single women than married women? Yeah, we do. 30 yeah. seconds. That's you feeling pretty good one. about your answer? I, I, think, I think... You know yeah. what? We've had a great time. We are 100% confident in yeah. single women. We are. And that's how we're going to live. That's all you can live. be. Yeah. All we can do. That's all you can be is 100% confident. There's no more. At this time, I'm just excited. It doesn't go higher than 100%. Nope. All right. They're done with the clock. Second job. All right. $80,000 if you're correct. Yes. Let's step up and see what drops. Oh, gosh. According to the U.S. Census, as of 2009, which are you. there more of in America? Married women or single women? Please be single women. Please be single women. I love you more than anything. I know I'm going to cry, too. Regardless of what happens, you've done an amazing job here tonight. And you could be the first winners we've ever had.